Okay, now we're on to section 1.4 and grid distance. So um, consider uh, the points. So again, this is definition of grid distance, and we're just looking at that definition that uh, you just have to stay on the grid and you count how many steps you made. And, um, you know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We took nine and uh, but then this is pointing out that actually you can, you know, even though there are a lot of different ways, we've got this nice, uh, it turns out there's a nice theorem that says, hey, as long as we aren't backtracking or whatever, we're taking an efficient path to get there, you get the same answer no matter what. And, uh, and so I could have gone up here and over, here and over, I could have gone through the middle as long as I'm not backtracking. Uh, but what that means is we could use those same legs, the horizontal leg and the vertical leg. Same definitions as before, same answers as before because we're using the same points, 6 and 3. And uh, so we get that our distance, grid distance is just the length of the two legs added together. And, you know, so we could even still think of it as the triangle, put that line across there, but instead of wanting the hypotenuse, we want the sum of the legs. Okay, so that's grid distance defined. And now we have tasks, and it says open Desmos and sign in if you haven't already. Uh, enter the first two cells, um, you know, the A and B. Now, you know, if, if I had saved this, whoops, this one. If I had saved this one, which I did, you know, I could go back in here and, and say, okay, that's the one I want. Open graph. And it does, but, you know, that's what I have, so it didn't change anything. Uh, so once again, you know, here's my 1, 2. Uh, set seven comma five so I enter those just like it said and I've got my labels and and everything um, and then it says compute in the third cell do the distance with this absolute value thing and so I go here and well I need this something similar to that so I'm just gonna get rid of those and D equals now there are things you can do. Um, now here there there'd be enough to get rid of that. You know I think I'm better off just retyping it. And so I could even if I wanted I could just get rid of this and then retype d equals absolute value. So again that's just the straight vertical line. Uh, you can find it in here as well. Um, there's absolute value. And so I could use that, and um, I need my uh, 1 minus 7. Uh, notice it didn't give the last absolute value, so I'd have to hit it again. Or I can do the absolute value sign on my keyboard. And then plus uh, absolute value of 2 minus 5. And I get the 9 that I'm supposed to get. Okay, so I do that says this is what it ought to look like that's what I have and then it says use the minus three and six and the four and negative eight again uh, and then make a screenshot okay so um, negative three and six uh, four negative 8 and um, negative 3 minus 4 and 6 minus a negative 8 and I get 21 and there are the points again and there we go you know so uh, and then it says um, Oops, do that. Take a screenshot of it. Oh, okay. So once again, I do the screenshot. Uh, control print screen. There's my screenshot. I go to my document. 
And I put that one in. So I'm down here, a little more room. Uh, Control V or paste. Uh, again, make it look prettier so you can crop that. There we go. And there's my nice picture. I'll click out there. Uh, I'll click in it again to make it smaller. Okay, kind of put it up there in the center. And there we go. Okay, and once again, somewhere I, you know, I need to come down here and, oops, backspace, um, you know, figure four. On, and this is uh, what, um, uh, I'll pick a similar title to what I used for figure one. What the heck was that? Desmos and Euclidean distance. So I'll say Desmos and grid distance. There we go. And put some spacing in there and center that one again. So you see, you start doing a lot of the same stuff over and over, and there we have it. And uh, uh, so I go back here. So I've got that one. Save your graph. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea, and maybe save that one as grid distance. So um, yeah, I'd suggest you just distance on the first one. Maybe I should have said Euclidean distance, but that gets kind of long. But see. So now, um, I don't want to hit save. Uh, if I save it, it'll save it as that. So in this case, click here and um, duplicate. And so here it says copy of. Well, I'll get rid of the copy of. And um, I'll go, I'll put grid in here. And save and there you go got that one so that gets me um, uh, through 1.25 now the grid distance in context uh, we want to go through here and get uh, all of these um, distances for the uh, Pikeville Med Center. Now, you know, you could have uh, certainly saved all this before and then just used the link again to get a new one um, and uh, redone it that way. You know, that doesn't matter to me. You can do whatever you like. Now here, um, I don't know, I'm just going to, I clicked inside there, did a backspace, and that got rid of uh, that. And now, if I, actually, if I highlight that, and I come down here, and I pick absolute value, see it did the absolute values around it. Now, I don't want the square parts, i get rid of that. I don't want the square parts, so I need to get rid of that, I'll get rid of that parenthesis. I can get rid of that one. Okay, and if I, now I could simply just type in an absolute value sign and an absolute value sign, but you could highlight and use the thing down here. Uh, but there we go, absolute values. And again, what I think I'll do is I'll, you know, highlight that, do a control C, come down here, control V. And again, I need a 2.95 and a 4.05. So here I'm doing the grid distance for each of these. And you see I get a 7, a 5, and a 7. And when we go here, you know, uh, so it asks me to do that. It shows the 
the 5 and the 7. Then it says do all 10. Okay, so you know I could go oops, go here and and do all 10 and I would get to the bottom and I'd no longer have square root stuff here. Uh, I'd have um, you know, an absolute value. Oh, well, didn't expect that. There we go. That was interesting. I, I guess I didn't realize I could do that. I highlighted that whole thing and I hit the absolute value key and I just put absolute values around it as opposed to making an absolute value key. And then I did a backspace and got rid of it. But, but anyway, you will go down and you will get, you know, all these um, uh, cases all the way to the end. And, you know, again, it says save screenshot. Uh, so, you know, I make sure that those last two are in there. Uh, do my screenshot. Control print screen. Again, go to my document that I've been making with my technical stuff. Come down here a little bit, uh, do a paste. You know, so do my paste. And there it is. And again, so see these are, you know, the same old actions. I mean, kind of once you, you know, like I say, it, it, a lot of applying math and in doing quantitative work is not necessarily that the the work is that necessarily difficult uh, but you tend to have to do it over and over um, and so I do that one make that one bring it up here again you know so I have that and uh, Again, I can kind of go up here and say, well, what did I, there's the, you know, what I did before for that figure. So I'm going to do a control C and copy that. And um, come down here, I'm at figure five, I guess now. So I'm not sure where my cursor is. Oh, it's over here. So I'm going to get down there, try control V. Now that needs to be figure five. And hit enter. Now you see this is a, a problem. I'm centered, so I've got to turn off the centering part and get over there. Uh, but there's my you know figure five. Uh, I need to edit that to be grid distances. And there you go. There's figure five. And I uh, come back. And um, and then it just says, oh, keep going with the table. So I've got my five and seven. Um, so where's my table? Right there. So this one was five. This one was seven. Now, and I know this one's actually going to be five again because it was straight. So I have those. And uh, again, I'd save this. Um, and if I need this part to go in just by itself, you know, I, I'll, again, I'll do a copy, do a control C, um, come back here. Uh, I'm down here now. And I'll probably move down a little bit and now put my table six. Um, Euclidean and grid distances oops something like that uh, there's my my table um, come down here for the next stuff uh, probably center that okay now um, uh, come back and I guess that took care of 1.4 so we'll stop that recording there.